Welcome to your 2016 Unity Assembly. You're here because, whether in this gym, in the halls, classrooms, or fields, you share the space with everyone else. You're here today to think about this school as a place that is more than what you see. It is a place full of other bubbles beyond the ones you're most comfortable. Outside of your friend group, outside of your classroom, and outside of yourself. It's true, everyone here is special and should be treated as such. But it's also true that everyone here has been here before. There have been quarterbacks and valedictorians, choir standouts and newspaper editors. There have been popular students and not, library dwellers and the obnoxiously loud. In fact, some staff have been here for longer than you've been alive. And we don't tell you this to discount who you are, but instead to highlight what this place has meant to so many before. Whether you like Twalton or not, it should be a place where you feel comfortable and welcome. And the best way to make sure that it's true is to look at yourself and be honest about whether or not you're there for everyone else who's sharing this experience with you. Unity is togetherness, which is easy to attain as long as people are willing to think about others and not just themselves. What we do that brings people together will ultimately be more important than highlighting what's keeping us apart. We should celebrate differences, absolutely. They help define us. But we also need to make sure and remember that those differences won't mean we're not all a part of the same community. Let's imagine Twalton as a universe. It's been around since before now, and it will continue to be around after. It's grown in ways that at one time would have seemed unimaginable, and is a living thing capable of so much more than we pay attention to. It is the constant, and it will be whatever we choose to make it. Sonder. Sonder's the realization that each random passerby is living a life as vivid and complex as yours. Populated with their own ambitions, friends, routines, worries, and inherited craziness. An epic story that continues invisibly around you like an anthill sprawling deep underground with elaborate passageways to thousands of other lives that you'll never even know existed. In which you might appear only once as an extra sipping coffee in the background, as a blur of traffic passing on the highway, as a lighted window at dusk. The hardest part about unity is the realization that other people are here with you even if their goals and ideologies don't always fit with yours. However, this is actually nothing more than an opportunity to work with one another towards, more often than not, a similar end result. Because people are overall good and want the best for what is around them, people understand that the world is more than them. When you're walking in the halls, it's no different than if you went to a different city or time and place. There will be people that pass you that you've never seen before. Notice them. There will be someone you've never spoken to before. Interact with them. And there will be someone who makes you curious about what they are doing. Get to know them. There, there are, are so, so many, many interesting, interesting wonderful, wonderful people, people in this school that, that are just waiting to be introduced. Whether you think you're well known or not, you're right. And you're wrong. The world you impact is only as big as the people you interact with. It's unlikely anyone knows who you are unless you actively work to make friends with those you're otherwise unfamiliar with. However, and whether you make an effort to get to know as many others as you can, that doesn't mean everyone else here isn't trying to navigate their day and have a positive experience just like you. There is an undercurrent of hate lurking in these halls. It's allowed to breathe and remains because of the silence it induces. Every day there's something that happens that only continues to divide a community of people that should remain strong and together. There's no need for hate, and there's no need for the acceptance of hate. Rather, there should be a groundswell towards eliminating those thoughts, those words, and those actions. Hatred, like any infestation, remains where it's allowed to. And we need to get together as a community and eliminate those terrible actions. 
We must acknowledge these stories and heed their importance. There is work that needs to be done, however, instead of focusing solely on the worst people or the worst experiences. The way we should fix our problems is to spend our time and energy on positivity as a way to highlight the differences between us rather than condemning them. Prove to those people providing the hatred that the only thing that won't be tolerated in this school is them. People are good, especially when given the encouragement to be so. We should have respect in our hearts for one another and work toward building a completely healthy community that stands up for everyone, regardless of differences. We should provide hallways and classrooms free of hate and be willing to confront those that have it because, after all, we're all made of the same stardust. We're all going to live and die on the same planet. The pale blue dot in, in the, the vastness, vastness of space. space. We have to work together. So use your time at Walton High School to practice the interactions and experiences you want to have in life. That pale blue dot he speaks of, for now, is covered in crimson and black. And we should all be willing to give love and encouragement to everyone, regardless of difference. We hope today provided, at the very least, some perspective of everything we have going for us in this school and part of this community. We're fond of saying we work together for the greater pack, but let's be honest and think about what that means as well as what we do to make it happen. What it means to us is that we celebrate the sameness within us all and not discriminate the differences. How we make it happen is through support and understanding because, in the end, we are all made up of a collection of our own experiences and right here, right now, we are in the same place being affected by this experience. So this week, Please focus on the good and condemn the bad as we all continue to live in this universe and hope that we leave it better than it was presented to us. Unite to move forward. 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 Unite to move forward.